David from Cinco Ranch wants to know whether to spray or brush. Pray? <laughs> oh, pray. <laughs> spray <laughs> or brush. Okay. Or brush or however else well, you want to put it on. Well, what, this, what started this is he's repainting his hardy plank siding. Okay. And so David writes to us. He says, I have received estimates all across the board as far as how to repaint. Some say spray. Some say brush. Some say two coats. Some say one. And what about the paint itself? I mean, what kind of paint should I look for? I intend to stick to the same color. Maybe go a little shade darker, he said. So, Tom, what's your advice for David? It's funny. I had this conversation with Jim over at Ideal Roofing, and he sometimes gets into doing some paint jobs. Mm -hmm. And he always estimates, does his estimate for one coat. And then people say, you're supposed to do two coats. And so him and I had this conversation. I said, you got to give him an option. Do they want two coats or do they want one coat? He said, Tom, that's a great idea. So <laughs> he's going to start doing that. So Tom he, uh, avoids business the, ninja. He avoids, <laughs> he avoids the problem. The bottom line is this. You can do one coat of paint, and whether you spray or brush, you're probably going to do a combination of both. The big areas you spray, the when you get around tight areas, you got to pull the brush out. So all painters are going to use both, and there's it's perfectly fine. As far as the kind of paint, just get a good quality exterior house paint. Hardy is a beautiful product and holds paint really well. So you have a real advantage there. It's not like the old days with where they had a lot. They had, the paint wasn't very good. Today's paint is actually very good. And we were putting it on old wood, and now we're doing it on hardy, which holds it really well. So a good quality paint, whether you go to a Sherwin-Williams store or Pittsburgh store, just say I want a really good high-quality house paint. Benjamin Moore. Benjamin Moore, however you want. Um, there's a lot of them out there. Mm -hmm. uh, I would go to a store and not aisle nine. That's the only advice I give people today. And then, of course, two coats will last longer than one coat. If you want to pay the extra, fine. A lot of people don't want to pay the extra, and one coat of paint will last a long time, and then you can do it again maybe 10, 15 years down the road. Two coats might get you 20, 25 years, and it depends if you keep your house clean and washed every year. If you don't, the paint's going to look bad, whether it's one coat or two coat anyway, because your house gets moldy and it's fungus on there and gets, you know, moss building up on it. you got to keep your house clean on the outside God. as well as the inside. Who knew an extra coat of paint would save you from all this? No, don't save it. It just it has longer. Oh, okay. Especially if you wash your house, you won't wash the paint off as quick. But mill thickness is important. Well, Rudy, when I talk to him about this kind of thing, I always ask him, why, why one versus two? And he says what you said, plus he says the color is more is richer it does give it a when deeper, you put a, a deeper richer finish yeah. when you put that second coat on so if you're going for that darker color you probably want to do the second coat yeah or you know what let's do one coat let me look at it if i like it fine if not let's do a second coat yeah wait till they make, take all the scaffolds down everything to make that <laughs> yeah, don't do that <laughs> i think just do an area but the one place i want to tell everybody that's watching this before we wrap this up two coats always on stucco don't go with one on stucco. You pay that extra. You need that mill thickness on stucco to protect it. That's different than Hardy. I want to thank both of you for staying with us to the end of the video as well. <laughs> well, maybe they have stucco. Uh, maybe. Well, they're not stuck now. Okay. And you don't have to be stuck. If you go to homeshoradio.com and find more answers just like this one, we keep these videos under the Ask Tom section on the menu there on the front page.